<laughs> Is that how you do it? That's how we do it here on the right. Circle Journey channel. No, I'm sure it's fine, yeah. Okay, so... Um, Are we on? Yeah, we're that's right. It. Oh, we're live. That's hell. it. Right. It's that simple. Jesus Christ. So, we haven't told anyone that we're going live, so... Oh, right. Sorry. Oh, do you want me to like set up a computer so you can see comments? Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah Don't yeah. knock all those frags over. No, I had a bit of a problem there. Uh, let's ah, do. Let's, think about let's that. Let's do that. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, so, hello to anyone who's watching. By the way, no one's watching. Right, zero is always a good start. Zero, yep. zero, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, but they will, though. They will. Yeah, do. they'll join. They'll join. I've oh, got two now. So, so in Britain, um, it's quarter to one, so it's quite late. It's quite late at well, night. Late, it's late, quarter late. to one a.m. Yeah, so but in won't... America that's much earlier. Yeah. So I'll just set it up so we can see the comments, etc. Yes. yes, yes, yes. So we have just filmed a video for my channel. Now let's yes. talk. Let's talk through the whole evening. Okay. So we went for um, we went for an Indian. Went for some food. Who I can't read that. Hi guys from what's that say, Laura? Uh, Linda Allen. Linda, sorry, my eyesight's really bad. Hi, Linda. Wait, we'll get it bigger here. Um. Oh, turn the sound down. Um, so we've got the last of the Mohicans says hello. Where is the? Oh, that might be a virus symbol. Oh right, okay. Lol. Uh, is that a symbol of a Maybe. disease? Hi guys, the Probably devil is that. in the building. That's devilish shirts. I still have Hi. my wrench. I'm so excited. So is he one oh, of your moderators? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, Valentina, woo, I made it. Claire, hi Dan. And uh, Tracy's still up. Hi Tracy. Hello Tracy. Is you she comforting sense? Yes. Is that Tracy? Hello. Tracy, you should be in, you should be in bed sleeping. Is she English then? Yes. Or in Britain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite late at night, yeah. Um, Where is your cat? Cat's at my house. Cat's the cat's here. never been here. No. The cat would uh, be out of its territory here, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. What were, you, what were you going to say then, Dad? No, that's what I saw in bed. No, I'm, <laughs> I'd love to have your cat here Would for a you? laugh. But um, it, it's probably not nice to a cat to move it to its, a different um, place to where it lives, is it? Oh, like, no, it wouldn't geez. be fair to the cat to bring her here for a video. No, she wouldn't be. It. She'd be like, I'm she'd scared what, what's happened. I don't understand yeah. this. Um, so they're very territorial. Rich Mitch says, oh no. Hi, Rich. So that's a good start. Um, hello from Houston, Texas. Says te the Texas lioness. Hey, Texas. hiya. Do you know her? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. Right, so what did we do tonight? Right, so we went for some Indian food. Yeah. And we went to the Shosna. What's it called? Shos the Shosna. Shosna. In Rochester. Yeah. And um, it's quite nice, isn't it? Mm. But it was a bit rowdy in there. Um, it was busy when we first got in, there were two tables full of blokes, like ten blokes in their twenties, and one of the table was quite loud. Yeah, like lots of shouting. Good so. humoured, but a oh, no, fine, bit fine, loud. Fine. Yeah. Bit loud. Yeah. Um, food was quite nice. Yes. And then we walked home because I felt really... That was a novel idea from you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It was about half an hour walk, but it was I, a good it, half the weather an hour was walk, okay, yeah. and I felt like I needed to walk off some of the... Naan bread. Right. That naan bread was stunning though. Yeah, Peshwari naan, which but is the what? Naan, fresh. sorry, naan. something so fresh uh, about it. Which has oh, kind so of good. a coconut thing in it yeah. and a lot of butter. Mm. Uh, the last of the Mohicans says, have you heard from Greggy Boy lately? Yes, I have. I miss his reviews. Yeah, I'm ashamed. I'm, I'm ashamed. I'm afraid he doesn't uh, upload as much as he used to. You liked the pub one that we did with him. Yeah, I hopefully we'll, we will see him soon. Yeah. Love Greggy Boy. Yes, Jason's bucket list says, does the restaurant advertise in the cinema? Because I've been a couple of times oh, I right. book. Yeah, yeah. You know, in the cinema, you used to get an advert for your local yeah, yeah. curry house. Uh, so, I, as far as I know, they, I don't think, I don't either, think that yeah. happens as much anymore, Jason. Have no. you been, Jason, have you been DJing tonight? Have you been to the cinema or to the restaurant tonight? Yeah. Are you drinking beer, Dan? Yes. Uh, Lost Lager from Brewdog. So, that's a kind of poncy company that we have here in Britain that does uh, craft beer. But they've kind of become very mainstream, so you get them in the supermarket a lot. And it's supposed to be a dry hopped lager, which means mm. it's a bit more hoppy. 
Yeah, it's a bit more flavoursome than an average Make lager. Make it hot. Lager. Yeah, I know, it doesn't know. It's, um, I don't think maybe you've misunderstood the, the reason. The, yeah. Um, <laughs> John Wilmot, second Earl of Rochester, the Libertine, played by Johnny Depp. Is that right? Okay. Is it, what film was that? Rich Mitch. We all miss the Greggy boy big hand, says the last of my... Oh, he has got big hands, I love his he? big hands. Well, or, or certainly just the way that the camera angle is in the video. They Such come off. Can hands. you read these here? Do you want them on your lap? Well, you say you don't want them on yours. No, but you might wish to read them. No, I wasn't saying that. Now, um, Bernadine says, it's so boring in Miami, they shut mm, everything down, mm, and I mean everything. I'm mm, so glad you guys are on. At least I have some entertainment yeah. now. Thank you. Oh, well, that's nice. I'm glad that we could We are in a, a very weird Bernadine stage enough. of... Um, Oh, am I not allowed? You're not allowing anyone to mention this. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Let's try not to drag on. No, no, that we're not focusing on it. Okay, if fine. we can, yeah. we're still here. We're not alive, burning yeah. the subject, but fine, yeah, I, yeah, I just, yeah. I think the world is full of it right now. Yeah, so it's a bit let's much. let's this place be a, a safe yeah, place, yeah. and we don't have to fucking dwell on it. Um, <laughs> Excuse my language. Oh, yeah. Bougie frames. Oh my god, goodness, look at you. Text two sexy people. Hello. Oh right. <laughs> you sure about that? Um, who said that? Uh, Bougie Fragrance. Oh, so right. Bougie Fragrance has Hello. a channel on right. uh, YouTube and um, Bougie is uh, the main front lady but she has photography guy, is the cameraman. Sometimes he waves right. and says his piece and sometimes she has family members on and it's really fun. I love it. Oh, and that's a YouTube channel? Yeah. Oh, really, I'm sorry, I haven't really, seen that. Okay, I must really check it out. Really fun channel, really okay. fun channel. Um, Robert Crawford says, late tonight, is this a late night bedtime scent discussion? No, it's not. Uh, Robert, uh, well, Rich says, George Michael was so good, Bob rest his soul. Right. Bob rest his Bob, soul. Uh, Jason's bucket list said, no, it's a night off. Last night though, George Michael tribute night. And he have, he's been, he's been annoying his wife. It's normally her night off from him. Ah, oh. nice uh, image of a normal marriage then. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, um, and I think, are you in Reading, Jason? Is that right? I think that's, I oh. think I remember, th I think you're certainly in the southeast of England somewhere, but I just have a vague feeling you said Reading. Okay. All right. Um, so, uh, the last of the Mohicans said, how do we meet? Oh, not this Can we hear night. a quick story? <laughs> right, I suppose we better it's do kinda, it. Though, I really. think I need to start, because it started with me, really. Oh, okay, I think. I'll let you start. Um, so, I was already on YouTube doing reviews and stuff, and I was in a fragrance group called Fragcom UK, and... Then I remember it was Greggy Boy that used to run the Fragcom UK site. And he You're said, not even in that group anymore. No, after that, political all, things everything happened. fell out. We all fell out. But um, so Greggy Boy said, "You guys have all got to look at Mr. this channel, Mr. Smelly. He's so funny." And I'm trying to get him into the group, but he's a bit shy. Doesn't really want to do. I Facebook. literally wasn't on Facebook. Yeah. At that point in my life, I had literally no social media at all, apart from the face. I just started the YouTube. Sorry, yeah. carry on. So, um, I wish Greg, I could go Greg, back to that, in a way, you know. <laughs> Greg, you it finally encouraged you onto the Facebook group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we started interacting a little bit, and we did a collaboration, did we, first? I think that I got you to send a clip for a video. Yeah, and then yeah. I was going to an event in London, a Sarah McCartney 416 Tuesdays event, and I invited you along. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And but I couldn't really go because I taught it. guitar because yeah. it was a Saturday daytime, and I said I can't go. So I said, the day. "Fine, come to the after party." Yeah. But there was no after party. <laughs> well, there was in the end. There was in the <laughs> end, but it was kind of like just just me and you. <laughs> well, and one other person. Uh, and Alvaro, yeah. who was lovely, he yeah. was like my chaperone, really. So um, that's how we met. So um, Mrs. you Smelly said come to this pub or something, and it was all a bit. Um, you yeah. So I met you in a pub, basically, 
and you were with a, a bloke who'd been uh, called Alvaro, who's from Brazil, and he was wearing Narelli Portofino. Yes, you remember that, yeah. Uh, yep, and he was kind of your chaperone. And then we we had a drink in the pub, and, and that that's how we met, basically, I in the middle. I think we got quite drunk quite quickly. Yep. There is more to that story than that, mm. but the that's probably about a good way to describe it. And then one, yeah, and then, I mean, that was... Um, Back in 2016 now, which is a long time ago. Mm. So <laughs> we had a great... And you sprayed Colonia Essenza, Aqua the pub Palmia. door. Mm. Mm. And I told you it smelled like bug spray. That was more or less your first comment to me, yeah, yeah. when you first met me. Um, so I re-sprayed my fragrance, which I had anatomized, which was Colonia Essenza, Aqua de Palma. And Claire said, you smell like bug spray. So that was charming. And... Um, I just look at the uh, so yeah, and uh, there well, there's a lot more to that story after that, but I think that's yeah. <laughs> six and a half hour video that we could do one day, guys. Yes. But um, the fact is, we're both sat here on a sofa, and not. Uh, and we're good friends now. But, nothing but good vibes. So I guess it's uh, every all's well that ends well. So talking sense is Ben. Oh hello, yeah. Ben has a really fantastic channel if you guys Sensitar watching. Oh, sorry, Sensitar yeah. as well. Um, if you guys are watching, check out uh, Talking Sense channel. It does really fantastic reviews. Right. Ben, I've been meaning to message you. I want. Uh, I've got a proposition for you, but I'm gonna. I'll message you later. I want to do something, a collab. If you're up for it, let me know. Right. Uh, uh, Jason's bucket list a bit higher up says uh, Calcott Reading. How did I end up here? So where are you from originally, Jason? I think you support Chelsea, don't you? So is that, are you from around there or somewhere in London? I, I might be wrong, but I think you support Chelsea. It's the kind of thing that men remember, you know. Um, so I think you support uh, Chelsea. So therefore, are you from somewhere in London originally? I'm guessing that you might be. Jason, please answer. <laughs> yes? Uh, Mike O'Neill says Eugene Ashton Mark and their 150,000 followers want to know when our gravitas ball <laughs> is coming. Time to crack the whip on the house of excuses and take charge over this snotty. What? Right. What, does um, what do you mean by that, Mike O'Neill? Uh, Are you referring to Ashton in um, Eugene's video? Oh, right. I haven't seen the whole thing. Oh, right. What, well, did they say you. something about Gravitas Barom in the video? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, we do. The, the fragrance has now been produced and it has it is in the process of being sent out to people. If you are in the United States, that um, uh, honestly, sending a fragrance from the UK to the United States, it would be easier to send a bomb. Or a dead body. A dead body or a nuclear missile or, or materials to make one. It's as if you are committing the crime of the century. But we will, it is, and we, yeah, we had obviously not, we didn't just start looking into this last week, but stuff that we thought would be okay About wasn't. the week before that. Yeah, no, no, it wasn't. No, stop, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Um, so yes, it will get to you, but uh, anyway, let us know what you meant by that comment and d d what was they saying stuff about Gravitas on, on, I don't know, we were interested, I'm interested to know. The last of May, he can says, I was recently watching the video you did, Claire, about Royal Water. It was very informative because I heard it has basil in it. That I did a long time ago, so I can't even remember how Royal Water smells now. I remember quite liking it. Right. Um... Uh, Royal Water, yeah, you, you really liked it. Uh, Greg from the Gogi Boy 76 channel was one who, who, who sort of said it's a really underrated good one yeah. from Creed and it, it just seems to have been not one that's hyped Under up at all. I don't know if it's still made actually. Mm. Um, but that's but not really the nice. high end line, is it? That's no, it's just, just a normal, normal line, line. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice, yeah. Um, Tracy says she did her perfume courses with John Stephen, who oh, was a great teacher. Wow. Yeah, he does a lot of um, those kind of courses, yeah. so, um, yeah, I met him just once briefly, but it was a bit of a chaotic meeting, so I didn't feel that I really got to know him properly, mm. but he's made a great fragrance for us, but I, I'd like to sit down and talk to him in a more, with a bit more time, 
Let's put it that way. Jason's bucket list says he's from Battersea, then Brentford, then Isleworth, and now Reading. Islesworth. It's oh, sorry. Isleworth, isn't okay, it? Okay, yeah, probably, yeah, you're probably right. Um, he's looking to move in a couple of years. Ch Ch Chelsea is his family team, but his, bro his brother-in-law is a Spurs fan, so that's okay. So, yeah. When I was a child, we I wasn't aware of the immense hatred that Chelsea had towards Spurs. Right. But I now understand. I'm it. aware of it. Yeah. The thing that really brought it home to me once was when I, I many years ago, many years ago, I was uh, briefly on a dating website called My Single Friend, and I went on a date with a woman. Mm. And um, for the second date, she said you, she, her boss was some. He had a big um, season ticket at Chelsea, mm. so would I like to go to a Chelsea game to watch Chelsea versus Ipswich yeah. in the FA Cup? So we had a posh seat to go and watch okay. Chelsea Ipswich. Yeah, yeah but I don't, well, didn't make me a Chelsea fan. I just went as a neutral, well, not as a neutral, <laughs> secretly <laughs> hoping Ipswich would win, which they didn't. But I noticed that um, during the game, numerous times people chanted, we hate Tottenham, even though we weren't even in the game. Really? And that was then yeah, that yeah, I yeah. realised how much they hate us. Yeah. So that was fun. Okay. Um, Robert says, what's Eugene's channel called? It's called You Smells Good. So you, as in the letter U, You Smells Good. All one word, I think. Um, that's Eugene. Uh, Hilary, off of the Bureau of Nerdy Fragrance Review, says, hey y'all. Hey y'all! Hey <laughs> <laughs> Rich, uh, Mitch, have you smelt Carolian? Oh Esteban. yeah, Galan, yeah. yeah. Um, Greg's got that one actually. Uh, no, I haven't, but I think it's a, is it discontinued? Greg says it's yeah, really good. He, he picked up a bottle recently, yeah. so I want to try that. Yeah, it's definitely for us mm. vintage. I'm um, watching a bottle on YouTube. On YouTube, you I'm on eBay at the moment actually. E e eBay would be a better, mm. better place to get it than YouTube. Yeah. Um, uh, Scott says what do you think of the new Bortnikoff fragrances which we did try didn't we the fifth collection yes they're out there aren't they mm. they're a bit out there yeah I think they're kind of odd when you first smell them mm. they you have to give them time mm. and you have to be patient mm. you have to be ready to commit to give them time and let them settle and let them be a little bit more well, yeah they're just over there they're, yeah mm. they're they're very very i mean they're true proper niche incredible strong powerful not generic fragrances mm. aren't they they are like they're a million miles wow. away from design they're like the modern art of fragrances mm. or whatever yeah they're million. um so i think they're brilliant but they're potent, they're pungent, they are polarising, um, they smell of real oud, they smell of real vetiver, they smell of dank forests, they smell of uh, ingredients that are not in your department store niche. So I think they're fantastic modern art in mm. a fragrance to me. That's what I would say. They're, yeah. they're true art in fragrance, but they, you may not like them. Yeah. They're not e they, easy to like. They require time to get to know. Yeah. And they may not be that wearable to everyone. But, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Mm. Um, how is everything going over in your neck of the woods in regards... Oh dear, I'm not allowed to mention that. This is Scent Sense. I'm not saying we can't say we can't talk about Corona, but I'd rather we just not try. We're trying not to make the whole thing Let's dominate. Let's not concentrate on no, that. We can because... briefly answer that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sense Sense has asked, "How is everything going over in your neck of the woods in regards to Corona? I hope all is well." So yeah, basically, well, we just went out for a curry, and um, nothing to there was a couple of body bags outside the restaurant, <laughs> you know, the waiting to be picked up. But apart from that, no, basically, I mean. If I hadn't watched the TV, I wouldn't actually know the anything was wrong apart from there was know, not many bog rolls in the, you, the you supermarket. You couldn't find many toilet rolls in the, but in, still in the supermarket. Mm. And when I went to the small, very small supermarket, the co-op, right. there wasn't much available in the fresh meat department. Like that, uh, a lot of that had right. gone. So apart from the shops being a bit depleted, mm. it's not affecting It's only us. watching it on the TV it's Which only the fact that it's do. dominating our lives in terms of Propaganda. social media, mm, yeah, news, yeah. radio, yeah. and travel. So I'm one to like to plan my travel quite a You ain't going to be doing that much. Uh, <laughs> I like to have a, a little travel plan. 
always on the cards. Yeah. It's a very simple plan at the moment. Don't. Yeah, that's it. So yeah. I'm kind of sad because, yeah, I can't really go anywhere. But. So in other words, nothing's happened that much yet apart from what you all can see on whatever country you're in the news or, you know, we can all access international news too now and everyone's going ape shit. Yeah. But I don't know anyone. And I'm got slightly it. paranoid yeah, about my parents because yeah, they're when you're we're both my elderly well. parents, yeah. Both yeah. my yeah. parents have health issues, they're both elderly and my dad's got a heart condition, both parents have gone through cancer. So I'm particularly worried. My dad is a bit of a, mm. uh, he likes to get on the bus and <laughs> just go out. He likes to go out and mix with people. And my um, my dad's partner, who I love as much as if she was my mum, the same, very vibrant, very outgoing. The pair of them want to just get out there and do stuff. And I just want them to stay in that fucking flat until yeah. this whole thing has died down because both of them are very vulnerable. But what can you do? Yeah. So we'll yeah. see what happens. There was one, I don't know if you can scroll up, but um, I'm sorry, I don't remember who asked, but what is it redundant to own Musk Cologne and Amber Cologne by Bortnikoff? They're both fresh, but they're different. Mm -hmm. uh, Amber Cologne is much more kind of jasmine uh, and go. stuff. Scott, thought, yeah. would it be redundant Scott. to own Bortnikoff's Amber Cologne and Musk Cologne? Have so, you got them here? Yeah. Get them. <sighs> really? Yes. Oh man! <laughs> that, no, it wouldn't be redundant, but it would be, let's, it would, let's put it one way: it would be expensive. So you might want to pick your favourite. Yeah, let's see. I let's see. Suggest. We're going to test them side by side but, and see what we what we find. Obviously, it's only going to be based on first notes, not anything else. But yeah, let's do this. Musk cologne and amber cologne. Oh, Mike O'Neill, Claire, you are still the most personable and interesting person in all the fragrance community. Right. How nice is that? Mike, I couldn't agree. You, I couldn't Mike. agree more, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Um, well, one of them. <laughs> no, no, you are. Um, Amber Cologne then is. Um, okay, Amber citrus. Cologne. Jasmine, really nice jasmine though. Yeah, don't this think? is gorgeous. So this Beautiful. is. We've had that for ages. Yeah. It does remind me very much of fresh white florals. It's mm. kind of ge like gingery, gingery spicy. Oh, right. I hadn't thought that, but yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jasmine, gardenia, ginger, spice, fresh. Mm hmm. Love it. It does remind really, me of really it's definitely natural jasmine. I've mm. had um, some yeah. essential oil, jasmine essential oil, and it's right. reminded me a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, although there's been all these other ones, and it's not even the most expensive one, I think it's quite, it's a little bit cheaper than a lot of the others. Right, yeah. I think it's still one of my favourites from the house. And that's not out there. Anyone can wear that. Right. Yes. That's like a summer holiday. It's for probably leaning, a, based on the top notes, leaning a bit feminine because it's quite a mm. lot. Yeah, floral. yeah. And this is musk cologne, which is somewhat similar, but that's more animalic. It has got that. Well, that's got real deer musk in it. I have yes. no idea of the ethical issues around that I have no clue perhaps it's like wearing a mink coat and I shouldn't be liking it but it smells nice it's when they have this natural deer musk in them mm. to me it comes off a bit meaty right so there's a really nice floral note but there's almost a raw bacon smell. <laughs> you've just ruined it for me so I would uh, based raw on the bacon. Top, Based on the top notes, I'm only being honest. Based you on are. the top notes, the first one you sprayed. I think musk is uh, much yeah, yeah, nicer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, unless you're looking for a um, challenge, but, yeah. if you're looking for a challenge, then the musk one. Yeah. Okay. But it does smell a bit like you've just opened a pack of raw bacon. <laughs> 
I and get what you it's mean. It's sprinkled yeah. with, with florals, but <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to cope with. It's a bit funky, yeah. But if, that's all the funky sensuality. If, that's, musk, if you're looking for a challenge, about, yeah. Yeah, yeah. fine. But if you're looking for something that's more easy to wear, mm. then you need to go with the amber colour. Okay, so they're pretty different, basically. Agreed? Yeah, depends we on what you want. Yeah. Do you want a challenge? Do Must you flow. like your animalics? Do you want something that smells a bit like yep. meat? Yep. <laughs> or, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. Do you, you want something that smells pretty? Amber cologne is the least offensive or challenging or polarising one from the house, arguably. Yeah. And it's beautiful. So you could certainly own both, but you So in answer to your question, Scott, it is not redundant, it is not redundant to own both. No. But, but you may wish if you love one, you're unlikely to love the they're other probably because not. they're so different. Yeah. Good point. Is that where are we with the comments in? We're we're behind. Oh. Um Rich Mitch Bacon equals me. <laughs> have you smelled Balenciaga pour from? Uh yeah, I have it. If you want, I can try and find it, Rich Mitch. Uh it is a masterpiece from nineteen ninety. Yes. I have a thirty mil and uh it is a brilliant fragrance and I, it doesn't surprise me that you might be interested in that because you were mentioning small topol on the other day and they're they're in the same ballpark of uh, immense oh what so we went for a curry what did you have which curry did you have Claire? right so i went for the danzac yes i did ask the man oh yes this was an interesting conversation yeah i don't I'm think not, he understood not english not that very well enlightened though <laughs> no. um i usually like to ask the person serving what they would recommend and sometimes you get really great recommendations but this chap didn't seem to understand my question and I right. said is there a little bit of sweetness there yeah. he said we can make it hotter we can make it I think hot. he thought that you meant I don't want it to be hot I want it to be sweet yeah or something like he did you he didn't, didn't understand my question know. so with my curry taste I'm a bit like it's a bit like my perfume taste is I like it to be a bit hot and a bit sweet and a bit savoury. I like After Shave Dave says he went for Dan's sack. Oh. Dearie hilarious. me. Carry on. Yes. So I said like that it to be a bit funny. hot and a bit sweet. And he was not that myself. helpful. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Behave yourself. He was yeah. not that helpful. And it didn't really It might be hot, but it's my... definitely not sweet. Anyways, carry, carry on. Sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, he wasn't that great at explaining no. the differences. So it was I a just... very noisy restaurant with a group of louts yeah. over the, the, the way, wasn't it? So but he did, although he made a few mistakes, he didn't quite understand <laughs> yeah, a lot, yeah. a lot of what we <laughs> said. Including overcharging us. Yes. Uh, but, um, my... yeah. yeah, so in the end I said, oh, I'll just have my, like, my usual favourite, which is Dan Zack. <laughs> You're never going to live that one down. No. Right, and I had something else called, I can't even remember. There's probably something, no, a Mergy Mufti, or no, what was it? It's, um, no, it wasn't, what was it called? No, um, you had the Merg Masala. Merg Masala. It was chicken and um, lamb. Lamb, and it was all right. I guess it was like a tikka masala, but with the two different meats. Yeah. And we it had was the, quite the, nice. To be honest, last couple of times, I, I'm not, curry isn't my favourite thing ever mm. now. I, if you offered me a pizza, a really good one, or a yeah. curry, I'm a bit more pizza these days. But the Peshwari naan was super. Peshwari naan was something else. It was the bread was like yeah, yeah. it's definitely cooked right there. Evil, on the spot. evil, yeah, yeah. You can it tell, was but it's so um, fresh buttery, and yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah. And then melted butter on top. Yeah, it was stunning. I could have just ate bread there and be like happy. Yeah, yeah. So it was quite. It was it was good. Um, and Rich Mitch says I had a pizza tonight. Sentitar says, I love curry with pineapple and duck. What the f? f? Red curry okay. with pineapple. Oh, red. That's oh, probably a Thai. Wow. I'd imagine okay. that's a Thai thing. Yeah, might. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, Scott has a decant of amber cologne. He loved it, but it was too feminine. Or it was a bit feminine. Jason's bucket list says, It's strange. I'm just sitting in the lounge stuffing my fragrances, yeah. forcing wrist under my wife's nose. Okay. That is strange. That is strange behaviour, yes. Jason, to be honest. Yes. Yeah. Try a chili and paneer naan. Paneer. Paneer. Is that a cheese? Is that cheese? Like um, yeah. Indian cheese. Right. 
Jason has oh, bucket list recently got trolled by oh, a that's woman. Fine. Of a certain that's age. Fine, really vish, rude and vicious. <laughs> Have you guys ever had a similar problem? Poor one. Problem. I know we are meant to ignore, but she annoyed me. Um, when you say trolled, what happened? That's actually unusual to be, in my experience, for a man to be trolled by a woman. Mm. Feels a little unusual. Yeah. Can I say that? Is that politically incorrect? No, I think you're right. I think most. Uh, I, I, it's normally I, I men, isn't be it? wrong, but I feel like most of my trolls have been men. Yeah, They've most been trolls. Very, um, yeah. Sexually uh, explicit. Oh, that's. Kind of well, that's a whole new, a whole different type of um, badness, mm. isn't it? Do you get that? No, not a lot, but right. I think, yeah, sometimes, but. I could be wrong. I mean, you don't know who anyone is. No. Based then, on their yeah. anonymous uh, name. Yeah, exactly. Um, trolling is a definite thing that you should expect if you have a YouTube channel or if you're doing anything to put yourself out there. It's kind of, if you're doing anything right, you should be getting some trolls. That's true. It's unfortunately and it's true. Kind of, um, yeah. And you have to be able to deal with that. Right of passage. Yeah. And you have to be able to not let... I mean, uh, trolling is quite fun, I find, but I'm lucky <laughs> that I am not easily hurt by stuff. Mm. I mean, I don't claim to be mentally brilliantly stable or secure, but I don't seem to get upset, because like, there's this guy called Smells Fishy, oh, and yeah. he keeps getting his channel shut down, and he's basically a troll, but he's got... Uh, to give him credit, he actually has a YouTube channel rather than just posting comments. Mm. But he doesn't ever put himself on camera. But all his videos are negative about reviewers uh, saying that we're all corrupt and on the take, and which is completely true. But, um, <laughs> you know, but he said that he did, he did a whole video about my hair and saying that I'm, I think that I'm David Beckham in his prime, but I'm actually more like Bobby Charlton <laughs> with a crap comb over. And I thought, you know, that wasn't massively upsetting, but you, you do, you're going to get personal stuff like that. And mm. I've got, Dr. Kramens Bulovich, who is a fictional, well, a character who's been emailing me, and I get like an email every day from him <laughs> saying extremely bizarre, and always oh, he's invented a whole line of characters after I blocked his original email, mm. and he's got friends with the bizarre names who send me messages that they went out and had a good night out, but one of them then did a poo in the sink of the <laughs> bar uh, that they were in and put a cocktail stick in it. <laughs> <laughs> and so these, this is what I wake up to every day. So yeah, you, you have to have fun with that. Basically, if you're getting trolled, it's good. What did this old, old older woman say to you, Jason? Yes. And did you secretly quite like it? Okay. Scott says, how's the dry down of amber cologne and musk cologne now? Oh, right, okay. I've well, got, we don't call that to dry down because it's only five minutes later. So that's a common misconception, isn't it? That people say uh, dry yeah, down. Yeah, I wouldn't anyway. call them the dry down. But slightly then, after the first it's burst. not the first impressions now. So. Beautiful, in one word. Yeah, so that's you know which one clearly that is, you? Yeah. because it's still pretty. Ooh, and that's good. It's citrusy and floral in a very fresh and pretty way. Yeah, it's, oh, it's pink. beautiful. It's that's top, pink. top notch. Pink and girly. Let's yeah. have the other one. But I'd wear that. No? So this is the one with the deer mask then. I think it's calmed down a bit. <coughs> I think I've, I've, re I've um, hit a second wind. Now, have you? Yeah, I was a bit fucked a minute ago, <laughs> like tired. Um, so the <coughs> musk one is better than it was, yeah, it's, it's calm down, less isn't it? meaty. Um, it's still animalic, but it's not as meaty as it was. It's almost like an orange Fanta smell, right? Better than an open, on, newly opened packet of raw bacon on a bed of raw beef steak. Right. Yeah. Do you know okay, what I mean? Like I it, it's still not bacon, but it's so maybe gone beef. Right. Um, yeah. I would say that amber cologne's way. There's nothing weird or animalic in that. Amber cologne, anyone could happily wear, but it is probably slightly more feminine. Uh, I'm not accepting that, but yes, um, I do agree. Oh, this troll was a disco drunk asking for a lot of tracks. Oh, anyway. Uh, this is interesting. So Jason says the, the the troll was a woman of a certain age being rude and vicious, but then he said, 
the uh, troll. The troll was a customer at a disco that was drunk, yeah. asking for lots of tracks. And being a pain. He tracked me down to tell me how crap I was, which may be <laughs> true. Wrong. Oh, That's not I very doubt nice. That very much. No, no, no. Basil says, do we, do we have coronavirus? Well, we don't know. We don't That's a very so. interesting question because no fucker knows. No, this is the problem. There's no, there's no information out there. Oh, what, but dear government, what are the symptoms of coronavirus? Oh, uh, you might have a, a feel unwell or tired and have a high temperature. Or a cough. Oh, well, I've never felt that way before. That's a unique fucking feeling. That's every other bloody cold that anyone gets. So what are you supposed to do? The Centurion Scott says, bloody hell, I'm late again. Right. Don't worry, Scott, we signed you in. You're all right. You're not in You're trouble. Right. So we don't know if we have it. I did have a... The alarming thing was I did have a, a slight beginnings of a cough or cold Very yesterday. Very alarming. But uh, Rich I Rich don't says, think I have. the day, Aberdeen Lavender. Good. Well, we just smelled that, didn't we, in our yeah. other video? I'm a huge fan of that Rich Mitch. And for us old school frog lovers, it's pretty good, isn't it? It's, although it's a modern release. Really nice. Centralised says I got proper hate in the first week and really not my confidence, which wasn't that high to begin with. Well, oh, that's a bit it's shit. horrible, but you can't let that stuff hurt you. If you want to do anything online, particularly if you want to do a YouTube channel where you put your actual face on the camera, and we've all, none of us is perfect, so you can easily say he's fat, he's bored, he's ugly, he's whatever. There's, you know, it's very easy. So you can, a anybody you can pick in this on world, anyone. you can pick even on Brad most, Pitt and say... Even the most beautiful person, you, you can find something mm. to pick on. So You could pick on goals. anyone, and the point is that you have to not focus on the 0.1 or 1% of people who say bad stuff. Yeah. Um, but it is easy to say that. Because at the end of the day, you have to focus on... The positives, yeah. Because I think you'll find, and most of us find, that we get a lot of really nice positive yeah. comments compared to which the I sometimes comments. take for granted now because I'm so lucky that, and, and so mm. you get loads of people saying, "Oh wow, thank you so much. You've helped me discover like yeah. eight or nine brilliant vintage or just fragrances. Nice video, ni like nice video, great video. Really yeah. enjoyed it. Or you're blah, so, blah. I was really feeling down today and I, I, your video really helped cheer me up or mm. something. I mean, that's amazing, yeah. but it's very easy then to comment on the one person who says... Yeah, it's, it's easy to focus on the, the negative, but actually, yeah. and that's human nature, it's a fact. Well, it's, Proven. it is, but you, right, but right, right. you need to, you need you need to, to like, write, literally yeah, try and yeah. rise above it and think, hang on a minute, mm. how many nice comments have I got from that video? Yeah. And what this one? What does this one comment mean? No, that one one negative comment is yeah. a reflection of that one negative person. It's nothing. Well, it's, to do with they're you. projecting that they all. Imagine what kind of person. I've never posted a comment on anyone else's video saying you're fat or you lisp or whatever it you may be. Shave yeah, your hair why off why you're do bald. you? Where the fuck did you get that Don't you have skirt from? In your yeah, country. yeah, yeah. I, I had that. Oh, right, horrible. nice. Yeah. Yeah, they know what to pick on, but that's self-loathing, really. Why would you do that? If you were a, a reasonably successful, happy person, you wouldn't be doing that. So they're projecting their own self-loathing onto you. And also, it shows you're doing something right, because anyone who's ever got anywhere in this thing, you will get that kind of comment. So at least you're getting noticed. Yeah, I think if you All get... All publicity is good publicity. If you get trolls, then you're, yeah. you're making it, basically. Mm. You're, on the, you're on the up. So you've just got to take it like, it's like a, you are an amazingly strong lion and this is a, a shitty fly that you just flick away with your tail, right? Um, so Paul says, with the success of Gravitas, life. any thoughts of what may come next? That's a great question. Oh yeah, I have, uh, I've got it just to prove that I actually made the fucker. Because I never thought the fucking thing would turn up, to be honest. Oh, there is some confidence. Sorry. Yeah, but there were times when I thought, Christ, you know, I'll just be very happy to physically have a bottle. So there it is. Um, so we got it, and uh, I'm not here to plug it or anything, but that, that, that's the... <laughs> he said. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the box. I'm going to charge so, you for your time yeah, right. on my channel, okay. you know. Um, I personally would rather just only have one fragrance for, like, the next ten years, but... 
from a business point of view, I think, unfortunately, sometimes you have to, I hate to sort of look at it this way, but there's a, a market and a game and all that, and you have to keep bringing stuff out to be a good brand now. After Shave Dave says, Dan, can anyone buy Gravitas now? No. <laughs> so you've got to wait, have you got to wait to the, all the... The problem is, because we are a very small operation and we, we don't, we've never done this before, we, because we did it through Kickstarter, we got all the money up front, which is really nice, but then you have to then, you, that's the money we oh, use to we produce to it. Just um, It still works, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just... Uh, but then there's a delay before you produce it, and basically we're, we're, you know, then the unusual thing in a way is that you suddenly have to produce all the orders at once, whereas a normal smaller brand would only produce 10 a week mm. or, an, or whatever. They wouldn't have to suddenly ship a lot out at once. So it's quite difficult for us. So basically we're shipping it out, the Kickstarter will get done, and then once we've recovered and had several volumes, we'll produce, well, I think we'll have some more, and that'll be available to buy in a normal way. So we're a really small company, and it's been produced in really small numbers by, you know, made by hand and bottled by hand, literally bottled by hand, not machines and stuff. Right. So um, we'd love to have it available. It will be available to buy online soon. But the fact that it's not um, is annoying. Right, okay, let me Sorry. interrupt this uh, to Rant. say something really important. Uh -huh. Oh, wow, well, it says nice stove. Nice stove? Yeah, it's looking at your oven in the oh, background. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is my oven, yeah. I'll, I'll get that tea towel away. <laughs> we clear, I said let's clear up, but it's completely um, cleared up. So this is my oven. <laughs> it's an electric hob, which I wasn't keen on because I thought gas was better, but I think these modern fancy electric hobs are quite good. It comes on really quick and gets really hot. Right, yeah. And so thanks, yeah. And do you like my microwave? I mean, not... Can't see it. It's my flat, yeah. I'm very happy with this flat. Yeah. <laughs> I really am, yeah. Right, Moody Boo says, anytime a troll says something venomous, I tell them I'm sorry they are having a bad day and I hope it gets mm. better. They never come back. Positivism yeah. is their kryptonite. Yeah, that's probably a good approach. And Hilary says, most comments on my videos have been very nice, although I did have someone in a live stream tell me I had too much makeup on. My face was a lie. I was wearing only mascara and chapstick. So Hilary never looks like she has too much makeup on. She's very right. a very natural, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful lady. Oh, sorry, so, that? Hil Hillary from the Bureau Nerdy Friends. Right, I'm is. afraid I'll have to check her out on yeah, the channel. Yeah, you, you, you do need to. But, Hillary, I, know, I mean, that is the kind of thing we all get. And it's probably worse if you're a woman because, unfortunately, the way the world is, women are slight, probably, I, can I say this, slightly more judged on their appearance than men are, perhaps. Mm. And so it can be more hurtful and easier to pick on something. But I get it too. When I wear tie in the video, if my tie is not straight, I'll get a comment on that. Your yeah, ties yeah, are, yeah, yeah. If if there's something, one of my hairs is out of place. If there's a little bit of white speck on my jacket, you will get a comment from somebody. So, um, and, and they want to go personal. They want to hurt you, really. Yeah, that's what that's what a troll's all about. Trying to find that little uh, yeah. Achilles heel. Is that the, is that your ass? No, that that's not. That's the. I have a very squeaky sofa. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, my right. excuse. Must so db seventy says, "Sorry, I'm late. Good morning, all." Morning. Ooh. Oh, well, it's just nice microwave too. Thanks, man. Paul says the units look nice too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very modern flat. It was only built in 2017. Is it? This is actually. I've got some lovely uh, artistic corners of it, but you're actually getting the least uh, well thought out bit of it that I haven't mm. sorted out yet in the background. I will say, is, is current polo green bad? I wouldn't say it's bad, it's actually quite good, but it does smell dramatically different to the Cosmo version and therefore I think it's one where it's worth seeking out the Cosmo version if you can, which does come up from time to time. That's my comment. Yeah. Um... <laughs> oh, here's a good one. John W. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Oh, right. Oh, are you going to gloss over that? We didn't really speak to Aaron too much. What was Aaron Terence Hughes like in person? I got the impression you weren't a fan. Did you mean me or Claire? That's my wife's. 
a dyslexic. Postponing that yeah. for a question. Um, Right. Uh, I'm in Fort Lauderdale. We had an exciting pickleball tournament today. <laughs> what the fuck? The franchise are having their barbecue tomorrow and the convoy will be gone on Monday before the Canadian gates close. Explain that, Mike. Right, What's so pickleball? Is Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale closing their gates down to think... Canada then? Right. I've been, been to Fort Lauderdale. Have you? On your yeah. cruise, in when your I cruising days. When I went on the cruise ships, we mm -hmm. um, used to stop in Fort Lauderdale quite a lot. Right. Uh, what else have we got going on here? BB70 says, nice question, Swerve Dan. <laughs> 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 Thanks. I should have been a politician, really. Well, you I studied it, didn't you? I did study politics for three years at Leeds University, yeah. I could tell you more about that, but I'm not sure I'm ready to. I could, yeah, I, I would have been a very adept, uh, I think I would be, I'm kind of like a politician you a are, bit, aren't you, I? You, you literally would, you like, are Switzerland. Yeah. Well, I'm not actually, but no? when it comes to, because they're neutral, but I could, yeah, I could mm. be quite good at, if you did an interview and you said what happened about your scandal with prostitutes i could say well i think you'll find that that's not quite you know i, I could talk you my way out of it like not that i had a you know what i mean anyway carry on sorry yes uh, uh frag enthusiast claire and dan glad to be watching your stream yeah thanks what's this in high school Polo Green was my signature scent. I didn't know it was a grandfather prey against the law. Yeah, you know, it's only lately that people think that kind of shit. But yeah, it, I guess now it's sort of as, as an old man thing. But um, yeah. Moody Booze reviews The Last of the Mohicans, Washington State here. I think we're talking about where everyone's from. Right, right, okay, yeah, where are you guys from? Yeah, we, don't, we yeah. all know that, that's it. Where are you in the it's world? Quite, yeah, it's kind of irrelevant. Um, um, where are you? What's happening in your area of the world? Yes. If you haven't already shared your oh. scent of the night, then do uh, so. Yeah, share so your scent of the night. Uh, the day you met Aaron, it was like the fragrance Avengers getting together. No. Nah. Explain. <laughs> um, the other thing that we... North London here, DB70. Ah, DB70. Where in North London? Because I've just left there. So I used to live in Barnet, which is kind of the extremely crap end of... Well, barely in London, outskirts of North yeah, London. Yeah, get your guitar out. Who says that? Oh, well. Oh, right. Don't you play an instrument? Can you play it live, please? Yes, I do, but I... Don't. Come on. No. Do it. Would that be a world first? Yes, let's do it. Come on. Peter does it. I don't want it to be like that. You're not like, like Peter. A... No, I'm not knocking him, but I, I don't care to. No, and I don't mean that, that detrimentally because I love Part of my channel Peter. that I want to show off. I know, but this is my. I'll channel. play something for a laugh. Come on, I'll then. play something for a laugh. It's yeah. been requested. Play something I can sing along to. Oh, blimey. I don't know about that. <laughs> Uh, Moody Boos were in Floraiku, Sound of a Ricochet. I can't remember how that one smells. I've got a sample set, or actually, I think Dan's got the sample set. Um, he's picking up his guitar. Centralise, can you recommend a good old school type of barbershop frag with a modern twist? I will put that to Dan in a second. Um, Jason's bucket list. For the sake of conversation, why are folks sometimes so negative about clone houses when the main fragrances do change, therefore we are being deceived? I think you have the Puritans who are very mm. anti-clone. Yep. This is a very interesting question. It's, it's a, and I think a lot of people have, have different stances on it. Yeah. So for me, I'm not 100% against clone houses. 
but I would hate for a clone house to clone an indie brand who's a Which small... Which they don't normally. And they generally don't. Because it ain't worth it, because they're too no. small. But no I can understand that. why an indie house would, why a clone house would clone mm. a very expensive, hard yeah. to find fragrance. And well, I'm not yeah, averse on that to top, it. On that topic, yeah, 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 yeah. So if, yeah, if yeah. do a clone spice and wood or Alexandria, I think one of them has, I get it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. They both it. have clone spice and wood and, and because it's prohibitive, Creed spice and wood. It's well, this is to do with this point. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I exactly. think it's yeah, yeah. everyone's got their own different opinions, and yeah, there is no answer. There's no actual answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if Clone House decided to clone an indie brand, I would yeah. not be supportive of that. Okay. Because an indie brand has it hard. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, but if you yeah. want to clone a big house that's got loads of money and the owners are driving yeah, Ferraris, yeah. I don't have. A right. moral problem with that, even no, though some people might say, "Yeah, but they're just cloning art." Well, they may be, but yeah, they're they're not obviously. They can't make it exactly the same. Even they uh, would admit that it's not an identical thing. And the main thing is, look, whether you like it or not, we live in a free market capitalist economy, and once something is successful. People will make a cheaper version yeah. of it, whether it's a Gucci handbag. Like you're back gonna... to that rouge now yeah. is like. Now, people say it's like buying a fake Rolex or something, but it's not because look, here's some watches that I've got. This is a very rep, you know, worldwide brand Citizen. Now, that is basically based on a, a Rolex watch that looks similar to that, but it's not a total copy. But no one says that's like disgusting. Okay, if I, if someone produces a watch that's and not a Rolex that says Rolex, mm. or a Chanel fragrance, or a Creed that's a fake. fake yeah. That's a different thing. Yeah. But look, you know, here's another watch there that it's a copy of a Rolex Daytona. Okay, it's a Parnis. That's a bit more of a clone because it's they ju they just do clones that brand. Uh, but the, you know, Citizen's a well known brand, but they're copying Rolex, but slightly their own thing. But it's, this is this is normal in 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 economics, like the guitars, like Fender Stratocasters. Most people learn to play electric guitar on a, a, a cheap copy so of a Fender. Well, I just thought I'd leave it for a minute. Get your right. guitar. <laughs> yeah, but, so the point is that it's just like that. If you want the real thing, you have to pay a bit extra. You might get a bit more quality. Quite a bit extra. Yeah. Um, so it's just the way of the world. And there'll still be in, those companies aren't going to be screwed because the big, I don't know, Rich people who want the Creed just to say I've got Creed aren't going to spend a moment thinking about buying the Dua version no, of or the, not, yeah. the RMAF or the whatever. They would say fuck you. But there are some people who might want that smell and don't have the money, and that's the way it is. So, you know, it's not illegal though. You know, if people produce a Creed uh, bottle that says Creed and it's not Creed, then that that is cheating and a fake. Yeah, yeah. And that that's out of order because they could be ripping off hardworking people who thought they got a good deal, right? So I wouldn't accept that. But I don't get the idea that they're doing something um, heinous. So Ben from Talking Sense says, is Dan going to come back into the frame with his spandex and a long blonde wig mm. on, windmilling on a flying V? No. <laughs> It's this straight answer, but I have had a blonde wig that I used to wear in another band. Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. Many years ago. But I don't wish, I don't really like to play guitar. I was going to say publicly, I actually I just don't really like to play guitar. <laughs> so someone will, someone will have to give me a slightly specific request. Um, or play, something. What, what do I know that I can sing along? Well, the me? trouble with guitar playing on a solo guitar is that you, you generally play chords to accompany a song or something right. and it doesn't sound that fascinating on its own or more. Can I play something so, on uh, YouTube yet? No, 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 no. You can play along to, no? No, that will go weird. Right. And you'll get a copy right strike and um, all that. I wouldn't do that, no. All right. So, so we'll take a request or something. Yeah, we'll so anyone got any requests? We'll, we'll, build, we'll kind of tease the audience in right. this immense If anyone's got any moment, requests, yeah, but obviously yeah. it's... But, uh, yeah. Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here from Robert Crawford. Do you know that one? Uh, I love that. that. Yeah. Um, 
So you uh, think you can tell? Yeah, I know, but I can't remember the chord progression. You see the E minor. I can't remember off the top of my head. Romeo and Juliet. Die Straight. I do yeah. like that song. Do you know it? Not off the top of my head. All right. Rich says Oblivion. I don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. The White's Guilt in My Heart. <laughs> Rich, don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. The White's Guilt in My Heart. Sweet Child of Mine. Oh, <gasps> yes. Come on, I love yeah, that. That's so crap. Um, <laughs> no, go on. Let's do it. Do you know it? I can't. Yeah, but it's going to sound really bad. Yes, it doesn't matter. Acoustic, it's all fun. Uh, <laughs> I don't like... Oh, right, fine. Uh, Don't be shy. Oh. So, well, sweet time. Oh, no, that that's so lame. Um, oh. Okay, fine. I'll try and do that. Okay, let me start that again. Thanks a lot. Loved it. All right. She's got eyes. It's a very hard song to sing. That's why she, <laughs> the notes are very high. Eh? Yeah, it's, it's, that, that's really, it's quite a hard song to sing actually. Mm. I've done it in karaoke a few right. times. You've got to really get up there. Literally murdered it. Only girls can kind of get up no, to those not notes. Even, no, not Yeah. Not even, not every. Absolutely ruined it. Uh, yeah. Even. Um, not many girls can, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really yeah. hard to do, but it's, it's a fun song. Um, Talking Sex yeah. Ben says Nick Drake from The Morning. Oh, I don't know that, do you know yeah. That? No. no. I'm not going to be very good at doing requests. Right. Um, Moody Boo says ACDC. Yeah, it doesn't come across too well on acoustic guitar, does it, ACDC? But... Mediterranean Sun Dance. If, if they do, I'll try and play that one. Oh, I'm a poor, 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 I'm a po
good song. That's a good song. <laughs> no, <laughs> the singing was good. Yeah. <laughs> It was quite good. We could maybe we could do one where we sing. So we work out well. Mm. What song can you sing? And we'll sing to you. Um, <laughs> what, what song can't you sing, guys? <laughs> Anything, right? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> mm. We'll do one in a minute. We'll give you a break from the guitar playing, but we'll we'll do oh, the poor neighbours. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do <laughs> some singing in a minute. Um, <sighs> two a.m. in the bamboo. La la bamba, one of my favourite songs ever. Yeah, uh, well, well, we, well, just before we came on air, we were watching Rod Stewart, weren't we? Yeah, we watched Rod Stewart with Tina Turner. Um, Tina Turner doing. Uh, oh, blimey. We'll a, plug um, you in if we have to. Oh, no, I can, yeah, I can get your power supply. Yeah, oh, yeah. Let me click the button because they're paused. No. Oh, crikey. Crikey, Mikey. Sorry, we are. Yeah, pausing. we. we, we do you want to sort the power out when yeah. we go for a week? Okay, I'll hold, and by the time you get when you get back, I'll go and because we can't have dead air time. So um, can I'll we fit. not? No, it's unacceptable. You need to be in the chair. That solves that problem. A what? Or a cat. Oh right. Um. Oh, so you mean? Um. So. Uh, have you? Have I seen Kasim Saja play? No. All along the watchtower. Please, says Paul Todd. Uh, yeah, I'll try that. Royal Ood. Uh, DB70 says he has a thing for Royal Ood. Brilliant fragrance. Play the Iron Man riff. Okay, okay. The Iron Man riff and all along the watch shower, I can attempt something uh, along those lines. <laughs> Iron Man, of course, is... So that's it for the moment. Ooh. I'm going to get the power supply. I played two requests, so that was good. We are running out. Oh, we're running out of so battery. Long, oh, Christ. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, know, I know how. I know how. Have we got do. some sort know, of extension do. lead? I think I know how. Do you want me do. to play the guitar for everyone? Yeah, I'm sure they'd. Uh, this well, could be fun. Can you how does it work? <laughs> what hack what, do I go this side? Yeah, that's the right way around here. It's a worrying side if I have to explain that. Um. Enabling us to continue. Uh, we were only going to do half an hour. We're way I done know. that now. But isn't it fun? Right, tell me if this works. Right. Do you get a sign that says you're plugged in? We should be. Uh, trust this computer. Trust well, it. Well, not much, but yeah. Oh, oh, uh -oh. bollocks. Yes, oh, yes. oh, do you know that? I'll I don't. Do it. I don't <laughs> yes, my code. One sec. Oh. 
Oopsie. That's the end of my guitar. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I just um, squished his guitar a little bit. So, I'm sure you're loving the tunes from coming from my musical fingers right now. So, I'll carry on because, you know. cost me two and a half thousand quid. So that's a very good guitar made by some extremely talented luthiers right. in North London who also made the guitars for Chaz and Dave. You can have the spectrum you know back. Or, um, or, or, or certainly worked on the guitars used by Chaz and Dave. Right. One of the, as you, I'm sure and that's a agree. good thing. <laughs> Many would... Do a Chaz and Dave song. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know the chords for Chaz and Dave. What they do? Rabbit, 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 rabbit. Go on. <laughs> I don't know. No, no. <laughs> I'll do something else in a minute. I will, oh, I will. I Turn this computer so we can see it and still it powers up the yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thing. Yeah. Sure, there's been some comments on that crap. So if we put, can I put the chair a bit more like that? Yeah, do so whatever you need faces. to do. Um, and then we'll sort out the thing. Um, so the chair goes like that. There we go, there we go. Right. Rabbit, rabbit. Oh, yeah, that was it. Um, so I'm saying that's horrible. I don't know if they're talking about um, <laughs> my music or what. I'm sure they wouldn't make uh, such a terrible comment. Oh, um, there's uh, that song about the boys, uh, um, that guy's wind son falling out the window. Looking from a window above, someone gave me a shot. Is that the one? What? I was falling. No. Um... You know that singer whose son fell out the window? Really Eric Clapton? Yeah. Oh, right. I think they're talking about that anyway. But I'm right, right, it. right. Tears in Heaven, yeah. Eric yes, Clapton, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. the one. Sorry. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, someone. well, is someone um, making a joke about that? Yeah. Right. Well, let's move on from that. Yes. Um, right, yeah. So, um, Rich Mitch says they didn't know where he went at first. Maybe they're talking about Eric Clapton's son. Play some Eric Clapton Layla. Yeah, we're, we're not going to get massively into the guitar thing. Oh, come um, on, it's fun. La 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 la. No, not. No, is that <laughs> That's right? Lola by the Kinks. Oh, sorry. Layla is. Come on, then. Actually, one of the ones I often used to do with um, students was the acoustic version of Layla. Right, come on. Um, then. Unplugged Layla was quite a good one, yeah. Yes, and that was about uh, he stole George Harrison's wife, didn't he? Did he? Patty that Smith was, or something. Oh. Yeah, that was the one he was writing mm. the song about. But he was he was complete skaghead, Clapton. He was on he uh, heroin. Uh, <laughs> during the Last of Mahika's Claire made me laugh. Uh. Singing Lola. <laughs> oh, I get mixed up sometimes. Uh, we'll try something in a minute, yeah. Mm. But we, we get back to other more general subjects, maybe. That's a big glass, says... Uh... <laughs> yeah, in defence of Claire, <laughs> when she has a drink, it's mostly that she likes more 
Coke, which is a, or, and even Diet Coke it is, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, which is a soft drink. And then there's a bit of vodka in the bottom. So it's not a huge. It's not like, of uh, yeah. It's, it's not a quarter. It's as weak as drinking a cider or a beer, if not. Yeah, yeah, cash. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I water it down quite a lot. So it gives me longevity. Yeah, uh, the backup bottle boss says, I know a guy that owns a wine glass that holds a whole bottle, so he can own, say I only had one glass. <laughs> I do, yeah, I kind of like that. That kind of does yeah, that yeah, trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm kind of like that. Yeah. 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 I, I used to actually, um, in a previous <laughs> relationship, never buy 330ml bottles mm. because that would be counted as one beer. Mm. So you may as well always buy. <laughs> The f at least a 500 ml mm -hmm. bottle of beer because they don't count. She probably so, did. <laughs> she probably knew the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah she yeah. probably said I always bought the really I big actually, ones I, again. I also considered like permanent markering out the alcohol percentage <laughs> because some of them were strong, but that's another story. <laughs> just thought I just wanted to share. Kind of, it's kind of like free, free therapy. Get it? I find this whole live streaming a bit therapeutic. It is therapeutic, yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you are, well, I've been to a therapist, mm. just wanted to share that. Uh, and it's 60 quid an hour. And you don't get as much out in that hour that you do probably here. At least you get a bit, like, you get a bit you back get feedback. Here, don't you? He can, yeah. don't give me no fucking feedback. <laughs> right, you go in, you sit down. Well, my guy mm. doesn't say anything. Doesn't say, how are you? Yeah. Oh, nice weather. Oh, I see Spurs lost again. No, he doesn't say anything. He puts you on the spot. He just sits there and goes, "Oh, he says hello. Mm. Have a seat, and that's it." And then you, you, that that's part of his thing. Wow. But it's quite intimidating. Yeah. It's quite difficult. So, um, at least these guys, they give you something. These back, guys, you know? at least, would say like, "Scent of the day." What's your scent of the day? Asking What's you your to sell your latest <laughs> Schmalto bottle. Yeah, or I can relate to that. <laughs> and they don't charge you sixty pound an hour. Mm. And by the way, you have to pay for six up front. And if you can't make one week, tough shit. Even if you tell them a week before. Just saying. Do you feel better now? Yeah. Just saying. So, yeah. Um, I quite enjoyed singing earlier. Okay, we'll, we'll do some singing later. Ben what, says, what as a hairstylist, I feel like I essentially double up as a therapist on the side. Yeah, right, that's it. Isn't I it? would yeah, agree yeah, with yeah, that because yeah. I used to work as a nail technician. And yeah, I think yeah. it's the same thing because yeah. you you start off with the superficial stuff, mm. what's mm. how are you doing, what's going on with your life. But when you build a relationship with someone who comes back to you time after yeah, time, yeah. they do start to say, Oh, my other half is doing my head in. I don't think I can tolerate him anymore. Or do you know what? I'm just so depressed yeah, right. all the time yeah, these yeah, days. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with me. People open up a lot, yeah. Yeah. In your nail thing. Yeah, you, when you I got do that. nails, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah even, on a, even when you don't know people too well. Yeah, yeah. They, because they know Some that you're not, you up. don't know anyone they know. So you are essentially so no as risk. good yeah, as a yeah. counsellor. Hmm. So they get the, the bonus of coming out with great looking hair or nails and having relieved a lot of pressure from... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um... I didn't know Ben was a hairdresser though. No, that's interesting. So that's God really don't interesting. sing any. God no, don't sing anymore, says. <laughs> Mitch, that's a lot, that's mate. Rude. That's la 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 la. La bamba. We're gonna do harmonies. La 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 bamba. They're quite okay, similar, actually. Go on. The the main melody. I'll try and work out the harmony. La. You do the main melody. What la la yeah. la la la. No, ba la oh. la bamba. Ba la 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 bamba. Okay, so the harmony will be. Okay, go. One, two, three, four. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not do that. That's not going to work. It's a bit spinal tap that. Okay. Um, yeah. So, um, I love dogs, mm -hmm. but they are usually at their worst when you're trying to bathe them. Oh, that must be Still hilarious. can't get mad at them. They are too lovable. Back up bottle boss. What that has to do with what we're saying, I have no idea, but it was a good comment and I like that. Right. <laughs> do you find running your channels takes over your life and is it hard to manage? 
Claire. Who said that? Uh, Paul Edmonds. Okay. Um, it is, I mean, for me, I'm not mega ambitious, but it, the whole thing is kind of taken over my life a little bit, but in a good way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like you want to connect with everyone and I'm loving how it's going for me with I'm doing the lives mm. and I'm really connecting with loads of people but it does take over my life mm. and sometimes like my phone's going off all the time I talk to loads of different people and then I feel like I'm not even connecting with my real life friends or my family or sometimes I'm distracted from work so it does take over a little bit mm. not necessarily doing the videos but connecting with the people which I love mm. but it sometimes takes too too much away from my own life. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? Uh, yes, I mean it's a very um, big commitment to do it actually. I mean it, it doesn't It's different for you, like you're it. maybe not as connecting with people but you spend a lot more time editing mm, and... Yeah, we're a bit different, yeah. yeah. You, well you have a lot of more... Um, you do the live streams, well I don't do live streams so that's yeah. a big difference. Since I started doing the lives, which is really nice for you, which I love, by yeah, the way, yeah, that's yeah. my favourite thing to do. Which is like why we're doing it here. Yeah, yeah, I've I've got this deeper connection, stronger connection with the people that watch and get involved, and um, yeah, which is nice. Yeah, yeah and yeah, I yeah. feel like I want people to find me accessible and to be able to message me, but at the same time, it, it, I can have quite a few people messaging me, and it can get a little bit much. It can be yeah. For you, you put a lot of time and effort into filming. Editing, yeah, you have a more professional approach. Oh, thanks. Uh, maybe, yeah. Um, and that, yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, I now have got to the point where I just do a couple of days of guitar week teaching a week and I do sort of fragrance, not just the YouTube channel, but fragrance related stuff the rest of the time. So it's kind of a job. Uh, so yeah, there's definitely times when you, you're not making a video because you really feel like talking about a fragrance today. Mm. So you have to sort of, and that of course is a, 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 a can be difficult. So it can be a, a pressure and a, a, a yes, yeah, so it's a. I mean, you know, compared to people working down a mine or something, it's pretty pretty easy. Do you know what like decade we're in? What you mean? No one works down a mine. No one anymore. works down the mines anymore. Well, they do. But um, not, but no, in, people, not in yeah. Britain, but that's because of, uh, anyway, no, that's not okay, that. but um, um, no, uh, you know what I mean, not like doing yeah, a really hard, not, okay, not, like, well, not like working in an job. office from yeah, nine yeah. to five even, mm. it, 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 but um, um, it can become overwhelming and it, it can become damaging to your mental health if, if you're not careful mm. with too much social media interaction and the feeling that you have to grind out through four couple of videos every week and of course you might wake up feeling grumpy uninspired depressed but you kind for some reason you kind of need to do a video that day mm. that can be a bit difficult but you just you gotta be a trooper I think, yeah we're, we're both we're both different <laughs> very different places probably, so yeah, probably, for me yeah. because this is really still my hobby yeah, you're very, very true to yourself and you're not in any way doing it to... I'm not relying on it for anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah for anything. So income. there's no yeah, pressure. Yeah. So I get to do what I love. Yeah, yeah. And Which you totally... Every now and then I try and do something that might be a bit clickbaity. I try something new, whatever. But I stay... I'm lucky to be able to stay completely true to myself. Yeah, yeah, you're brilliant. In that and... way, yeah. yeah, which I respect massively. But that's because I've like I've got my job and mm. I'm, I'm securing that aspect. Yeah. Well, YouTube doesn't make any mm, significant part of your income. No. Right. So, um, but obviously you're a little bit different. You do a little bit of the guitar, but there's more this, focus yeah, on yeah, yeah. the videos and the other little bits and pieces yeah. you've got going on, which is yeah. which is brilliant. Like, and yeah. I, I would love to be. Yeah. Able to not have to work full time yeah. and do more fragrancy stuff, but it's but it, it can it's be a compromise, it, it, it isn't can it? be yeah okay, okay there's a definite compromise involved and at times you will not um, yeah it means you're no longer just doing what you do 
because I remember we went to the Stephen thing where we met other YouTubers mm. where we did Stephen from Adolescence. We, we met him and, and did a thing where loads of other YouTubers met him to talk about his fragrance, his new line of fragrances. Yeah. But some of the other YouTubers there were very driven and professional. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. were saying to you, weren't they, like, what's your... What's your strategy? Yeah, <laughs> I don't really have a. St <gasps> What's that mean? You're, I mean, you, I don't know. I mean, you weren't. You, you were so. You're not like that, and I'm mm. not quite like that either. But uh, yeah, it, sometimes it does mean that you have to review stuff or do a video that you. I'd rather review one vintage fragrance, but I'll only get seven hundred views, mm. so I have to do something that will get more views. Um. So yeah. The one question that interested me uh, that I've now... Oh, Paul Edmund says, living in Islington myself, Dan, because I think I might have... He might be the person I asked where you're from. Mm. Um, do I miss anything uh, at all about North London? So I was from Barnet, which if you know Islington, you probably know it's like <laughs> the kind of edge of London. You probably laughed at as bumpkin country by people in the middle of London. Um... And I moved out because the fucking Barnet, right? It's not a nice place. Okay, Islington is a bit trendy and like, you know, where celebrities live. Mm. Barnet is like boring. There's nothing good there. But because it's got a, a tube station and it's officially in London, the house prices are just like really yeah. fucking ridiculously high. But you're not living the dream. You're not like living in Hampstead like but Hugh Grant or something. That Shit. If you've got the money yeah. from the sale mm. of the flat. Mm. Yes, so. so my dad snuffed it. I got some money from the sale of his flat, but I have, unfortunately for me, I have a sister. <laughs> so she, <laughs> she, she also got half the money. I'm, yeah, otherwise I would have, you know, murdered her or something, but it would have been better. But, you know, um, so she got half the money and I got half the money and whatever he had in the bank <laughs> and we split it. I mean, let's be blunt. And um, then I thought, well, Fuck that, I've only got enough money to buy, to live in a wheelie bin in Barnet yeah. or Islington or anywhere else like that. So I couldn't afford it, so I moved to Kent. Um, where, where you can get a really nice house, same kind of standard of living. It's not like Kent is a bloody, horrible, It's not the arsehole of the world. It's not, no, the, the people, everything about the standard of life here is the same as Barnet, if not probably quite a bit better. It's a bit more countryside nearby, mm. but you still got shops and stuff. But I guess the disadvantage is you're further out from London. So if I did have a job in London, it might take me longer. But it doesn't it affect me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. affect me. So basically, I don't miss much about that. No. Yeah. Yeah. So, sorry if that was too blunt. I didn't mean, no, unfortunately, I have blunt. a sister. But you know what I mean. That You know. So, yeah, I like North London. But, um, uh, you know, Barnet doesn't really have a great... Uh, you know, it doesn't feel like you're living in Hampstead or. It just feels uh, like Islington. a nice. You've been there, haven't yeah, you? yeah. It's not it's, that different to here, is it? It's not yeah. majorly different. It's yeah, kind of like that. you're in a, a really nice, okay town, a few yeah. pubs, a yeah, few yeah, nice yeah. shops and cafes and stuff, but nothing. nothing it's not full of um, special celebrities, such, so yeah. I'm happy. Um, John Pathway says, it may not generate views, but the more honest and independent reviewer, the better. I understand the business side and striking the right balance is yeah. tough, but stay true to you yourself. Have to, well, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Um, you're right there. Yeah, You, you can strike a balance. Um, uh, Backup Bottle says he tries to buy vintage frags off YouTubers so I don't get burned. It likes to put a space to the cellar, so that's good. Oh, yeah. Right. So, Ben from Talking Sense Kent says... Kent is nice. But he lives in East Sussex in Brighton. So, that's not far, Ben. Yeah. So, Stuff. I've been talking for a little South while East. about having a meet-up. South represent. There you go. South East meet-up. You're up for it. So, we've got um, Lizzie off of Rose and Jones. She's in a Brighton area. Um, yeah. A, there's, a few, there's a few of us who are... Southeast England. Yeah, I think we should have a meet up. Um, yeah, we, we well that was the thing we were talking about tonight in the uh, curry yes. house. So we reckon because Essence is cancelled till February. Essence in Milan cancelled. 
cancelled. Till, well, till February next year, which is effectively, that's next year, so why not just say we didn't have it this year and yeah. have it in, it was only going to be in April this year, so why not just say we missed just it? Just They can't have one in February next week, year and then another. They're right. not going to do one in February and then one in. Ugh. Anyway. Anyway. Who, anywho. It effectively is gone. So what we're thinking is. It's over. <laughs> we're That's my Scarface off. impression. All right. Over. I know it's got the Godfather. All right. Sorry. Fine. Um, so what we're thinking is a UK essence party. So like a wait, mm. almost a wake. <laughs> yes. Like, yeah, essence is not happening. Mm. So maybe once the Corona's hit and had its peak, <laughs> and things are calming down a little bit, a bit of a party. So that we'll find somewhere a bit central, get some brands involved, non-profit. No scent exploit here, but just pure fragrance love. So we get the all the reviewers together, all the Instagrammers together, yeah. all the bloggers together, yeah. all the brands together. No profit, just fun, networking, mm. all that stuff. So if you're thinking that you're up for that, we'll let the peak of the... <laughs> God knows when that's going to happen, but Let yeah, the that, was our, that was our problem in this idea. Yeah. But it's a really nice idea that we'd love to have a UK-based thing. It, it Obviously, it wouldn't be as big as... It wouldn't excellence. be a professional thing. It would just be driven by us, hopefully with a few people on what our side. What did you side. think of my idea to call it XXX Sense and hire some sort of low-grade glamour models to sort of no. give out canapes? No. no. Okay. Sorry. Carry on. <laughs> I just thought I could have, you know, mm. bring in a new crowd, I don't, I don't a know about, different audience. I don't know about that, but... Okay, um, carry on, we could, sorry. We could get the Chippendales involved. All right, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to... Yeah, it's not sexist, it's like a, yeah. an equal opportunity <laughs> event. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what, do you, what does everyone think? I mean, we love your input. Non-profit, we just hire a venue or find a, a great central venue. Some would have to be central London, I guess. Um, wouldn't have to be, but... But for yeah, to get well, the best show, to get people to actually come along... The main... Probably have to be London. Porn models would only go there. <laughs> I'm joking! I'm joking. Um, no, but it's... The only problem is this corona thing. Like, we Yeah, can, we need to let that pass. We need to let it peak. Because no one wants to do it. It needs to yeah, peak, yeah, and then yeah. once it's on the downside... Then we can start arranging it. Yeah, we could, and it wouldn't be sort of a massive. We wouldn't be doing it. To it's make not going to be essence. It's not no. going to. It's not well, going to be as big. But it can be a way for brands and consumers and reviewers and bloggers and everyone to come together. Yeah. In light of the fact that essence isn't happening this year, yeah. just a beautiful time for mm. everyone to come together. Non-profit, just yeah, yeah. somewhere great that we can all meet and. Share our love of frags and stuff. Yes. And or not the same thing, maybe we also kind of wanted to have a social event that is not... Was this a sort of separate thing that we might also, if we can't do that, or as well as do something where we just have a meet-up with people in a big pub or hire a social yeah, yeah. room for I a think, laugh. Yeah, if we could do the yeah, whole thing. It. Okay, well, it could be that. Okay, right. If possible, mm -hmm. I think it'd be really awesome, mm -hmm. right? I mean, obviously not every no one no one could always make it because yeah. of work and stuff. But yeah, I think it'd be fun if we can all get together. Um, Talking Sense says I'd go for sure. Yay. Am I invited? Lol says DB seventeen. Of course. Definitely. Everyone's um, invited. That's the point of it. Just for six hundred and eighty-five pounds to uh, the. <laughs> no, we're joking. Uh, we, it'll be free. Um, we could just go for a curry, yeah, like that kind of thing, or yeah. Um, well, Paul, yeah, hold up north much cheaper. Hold it up north. Yeah, Rich, uh, Rich. Probably is getting yeah. anyone to go up there, mm. though, no, um, Rich. It's like, it's grim up there, isn't it? <laughs> have you ever lived up north? No, have oh, you? Right. Yeah, Leeds. And you hated it, didn't you? Didn't exactly say that, but... How did you find it? Uh, Leeds, I don't think Leeds is the nicest bit of up north, and it was in the mid 90s. Um, um, I, I think it's a Even bit grim. Yeah, all yeah, right, though. we'll agree that I think it's a bit grim up in Leeds. Yeah. Maybe if it's Manchester, Manchester's a bit glossy, Maybe, or yeah, Liverpool yeah. or something. Leeds was quite grim, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, moving swiftly on. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are your favourite brands, says John W. Claire. Well, we can talk more about what we listen to tonight. We listen to some classic music, didn't we? Bands or brands? Oh, bands. No, definitely said bands. Bands. Yes, Claire. Um, so my, like, my long time love is Stereophonics. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I mean, kind of like them, but I didn't know that would be like... No, I've seen them more than anything mm -hmm. else live. I've seen them about five or six times live. Right. Love them. Uh, okay, and they're from Wales and were prominent really in the mid-90s. That be, was when they came like, to their That's when they came out, kind of like mm. the uh, mid-90s, but... Um, right. I guess they had more success in the 2000s. Yeah. Maybe early 2000s, yeah. late, late 90s, 2000s, they yeah. sort of, um... Okay, well, you've answered that question, mm -hmm. although yeah. I haven't. Well, I don't know really anymore, but I will say that earlier on we were listening to a style of music that Lex Ellis got me into, that Claire does not seem to share my appreciation for. And this is not the type of thing I used to like, but it's called Italo Disco. It's and terrible. it's an 80s style of music, which was Italian sort of disco music. Usually, often in the English language, sometimes with a slightly primitive understanding of how to construct lyrics in English, and it was really good. So yeah. I quite like that. And we also listened to Sabrina's Boys, Boys, Boys. Boys, boys, we both, boys. At least we can agree on that. Looking for the good times. Boys, 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 get ready, ready for my love. Boys, 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 I'm going to get my nipples out. Yes, that was the, the, the general appeal of her brand. Mm. Uh, her, her, yeah. Which I thought was quite, you know. But we also watched Tina Turner. She was very Rod good. Stewart, Rod Stewart. Yes. Um, who I love, Tina Turner. Brilliant. I used to like rock music like Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath mm. and Van Halen and all that, actually. Um... That was banned Rich, on MTV Rich. at first. Sabrina's, Sabrina's tits. tits. See, we all remember she that, yeah. She kept on, like... Well, she, she actually somehow did show no, there was enough... No, there was she showed nipple, nipple. There was but not the centre of the nipple. So maybe no, the centre of their four could the areoli. <laughs> Happened to know that. Um, areoli? The, yeah, surrounding area. But it didn't actually show the, tit, the teat. <laughs> so therefore, it probably teat. wasn't... Maybe they couldn't ban it. You know what I mean? Maybe that was like the borderline for right, the censor. Right, they probably right, thought. Right, I, yeah. I think they thought that through. Anyway, um, yeah, Monster Puppets. Yeah, I had that album um, by Metallica. And what happened to Lex Ellis? Says John W. We still out there, um, but doesn't yeah, seem to make many videos. Like I want to send him. I'm going to send him a gravitas. Yeah, I, I spoke to him to say we'll send him gravitas from. He said great, but he doesn't make videos about fragrances very often. And I really, I genuinely miss him. You love him, because I do have a slight crush, a man crush on him. Not really, but I, he was someone who really inspired me. Because when I first got into the hobby, he was he was at his peak of making the videos, and he really reviewed Lapidus Prom and loads of obscure stuff with loads of enthusiasm. And then something went wrong that he didn't feel like doing it, which was really sad. Mm. So yeah, um, J Jason's bucket list says Sabrina video woo woo. So, okay. what, what more can you say? Yeah, mm. didn't Arioli play for Liverpool? I don't know. <laughs> um, where was yeah? Where, where where's Fragrance Matt gone? Remember him, the Fragrance Geordie? Yeah, 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 yeah. He does the Matt. odd post on yeah. Instagram and the odd post on Facebook. He was another one who loved the old school fragrances. But yeah, he's got his own sort of challenges. Well, I'm gonna just say this: half of the fucking fragrance reviewers have got problems. Mm. I'm not joking, I'm not being flippant about that, but the number of fragrance reviewers who seem to have, I'm not referring to anyone specific here, but who seem to have problems, mental health issues or depression or suicidal stuff, is quite alarming. We lost Mr. Sillage. Yeah. It was only the other day, I, I was going ago. through my, oh, I was sorting out my channel, going mm. through some old videos, and he commented on one of my videos, mm. and it made me feel really sad. Yeah, that's really hurtful I to see that. I saw his comment, yeah. like, he was mm. so supportive, mm. it was such a nice comment, mm. and to think that... And then you would think, oh, he's a really positive person, he must be really happy. He really was, like, he was a massive positive influence in the community, 
I didn't get to know him. Like he, he'd only just kind of like mm. I only just started to see him communicating, and he right. started commenting on my videos. Started to see who he was. I saw a few of his videos, mm. and then he was gone, and it's so sad. Mm -hmm. So sad. Yeah, well, I think there's a lot of there is a lot of mental health issues. I yeah, don't yeah, think yeah. it's necessarily just among fragrance reviewers, but. You know, maybe, maybe if you have people, people that come who have out on some, YouTube, maybe YouTube in general, and maybe if you have an obsession with a certain weird, slightly obscure hobby such as fragrance collecting, that might have a higher percentage collection connection with people with slight issues. I don't know. Oh. It doesn't particularly make any, I can't think of an obvious sense for it, but uh, the backup bottle boss says, why is being a little messed up a thing among fragrance people? I agree myself in that, by the way. So yeah, it's, mm -hmm. um, yeah, like if you have a weird collection uh, of like 300 fragrances and stuff, maybe you're a bit, <laughs> I don't know, compensating you for something else in your life, some or sort there, there might be a slight, or... yeah. Yeah. So it is a question that I've sometimes thought about talking about on YouTube, but I didn't. I don't really want to do it. I, I've never felt quite ready to go and do a video about my struggle with mental health, you know, all that kind of thing. But um, there's a lot of people. Uh, although, on the other hand, there's a lot of people in life in general. Uh, name anyone you know that you've, has hardly got any suggestion that they've ever been slightly depressed or anxious mm. well, nearly everyone has so it's difficult to say isn't it i think we've all gone through it whether yeah, yeah, yeah. we're yeah. you know susceptible to it right. more often than others or whether we've just had that one or two times in life when we've gone through a struggle mm. but we're all susceptible to it yeah and maybe having a bit of an obsession well yeah rich mitch just said collecting things is linked to ocd mm. ocd is linked to depression and anxiety so there might be a, there might be some truth. And there's that connection with like buying something, having to mm. buy something to make you feel better. Yeah. You could have like a, a it's a sort of specific kind of shopaholic mm. thing, and a kind of obsessive thing of collecting one thing to an um, uh, focusing on one thing to an unnatural extent. Mm. Like you know, I have nine hundred fragrances, but. I dress in a that's scruffy tracksuit yeah, or whatever, yeah. like an unhealthy that's kind of... That feeling that yeah. if I just buy that £200 dual privé, yeah, yeah. I'm going to feel so much better. Yeah, which you don't, yeah. So I'll buy it, Yeah. and then I'll realise that I don't feel that much better. You'll get a brief 10 minute high. It'll be like a moment, yeah. Yeah. So it's an inter yeah, a very interesting question, isn't it? Yeah, the mm. mental health thing. Um, but we don't probably have the answers, do we? But um, well, of course we don't have the answers. But I think we're... what we can say is be careful out there. You know, like if you think you've got a bit of an obsession going on, if you think you're relying on yeah. purchasing, if you're purchasing beyond your means, if yeah. you're buying stuff and you're not paying your rent or your bills, mm. then do well. No, you should never get to help, that ask for help. Like, you know, like no. don't. Try not to be shy. Yeah, no. Try not to hide behind anything. And even if you can't reach out to your own friends and family, mm. reach out to Fragcom because we're all here and we all know how it feels. And yeah. But you don't you bury your us? fucking shit. Don't hide it. Mm. Because hopefully just by speaking about it, it might help a little bit. Yeah. Um... Back to the Lex Ellis thing now, I, I really miss the Lex Ellis, it's been a long time since Lex Ellis made regular fragrance videos mm. and I, I miss that, but um, there's only so much you can do, and I know sometimes Lex did say things that weren't quite right. He could be a bit right. inappropriate, um, some of the names he called his sister, I don't even... Yeah, he did yeah. say some things that I can't, I can't defend and maybe I shouldn't even excuse really, mm. um, but seem to forgive him quite a lot. So I miss him terribly really. As as you know, never met him personally. He's a funny fucker. Yeah. Uh but he has no filter. No, definitely not.
so Robert said, let's lighten the conversation up a little bit. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Come on then, what, what are we going to come out with? Oh dear, am I in camera there? Oh, yeah, look yeah, at yeah. that. That's not a very attractive thing. We're watching you throw shit away in the bin. Oh dear me. That Just wasn't very uh, appealing, was it? Dear, oh dear. Uh, backup Bottle Boss says, Lex is like a British Joey cannoli. Mm, yeah. John Pathway says, Mr. Smelly, pull your jeans up, you're not That was 15. terrible, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. I didn't realise I was in shop there. <laughs> that wasn't a good look. Sorry, you're quite right there. <laughs> that was terrible. John W says, so was, uh, how was Aaron Terence Hughes as a person? <laughs> or would you rather not answer? It's no, we'll answer, come cool on. Cool if you don't want to. We can answer it. Listen, it, I'm, not, I'm not here to talk about anyone. I have to be honest, I didn't feel a connection with him. And the only thing I will say is, I asked him about a particular fragrance. He, was, he had a big box of fragrances <laughs> in his hand. You're going to tell them this story. I am going to tell them the story. <laughs> he had this big box of fragrances in his hand. And... Uh, we were talking about a particular fragrance that was kind of well loved or talked about. So yeah. I asked said, have you got that fragrance? And what? his exact words to me were, I'm not a shop bitch. <laughs> I'm not a shop bitch. So It's not a great I'm answer, not, is it? <laughs> I'm not one, to, I honestly don't fall out with people, mm. and, you know, but it just felt like there, there, but there's no connection there, you know. And he told you to stop stuttering. He told me to stop stuttering, which I don't. I don't have a stutter, do I? But I, oh. I just said something or was a bit fumbling or whatever. Um, but that, I mean, that's not a huge thing. But we're but not going to. I don't want us to dwell on it. No, we're not throwing you him know, under the bus at all. He's got his own. No. Um, I think he's, he's got well, his own issues, yeah, so yeah. he's maybe slightly mm -hmm. socially awkward, whatever. I think it perhaps was quite a difficult occasion for difficult him. It was quite a him. difficult situation for him. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but yeah. we were certainly keen to try and be friendly to him. Mm. Um, but maybe when it comes to his social skills. He has a ways to go <laughs> with that, and but that's what we're going to say. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. I yeah, don't want to dwell yeah. on it, but um, yeah. We, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, you know, he's one of those people that's, as he admits himself, a bit extra. Mm, yeah, but he's doing very well. He's uh, very mm. vibrant mm. on his channel. He's uh, he seems to be very yeah. uh, friendly and loving in, in that respect. Yeah. So, you know, wish him well. He does stuff for charity, which he's very um, <laughs> vocal about. He's saying so, that so, you know, cats in China or something, yeah. Um, yeah, oh, so yeah. good luck to him. I hope he saves, you know, as many animals as he <laughs> can. And I hope no, that... Right. He, uh, to be fair, I don't think it was easy for him to come and meet a lot of people. And I don't, I don't want to come away from that. With a load of people like us saying that he was he did stuff wrong, but um, we've met quite a lot of people in the <laughs> fragrance community, and there aren't too many that we've come away with both being strongly offended by, <laughs> and we're not easily offended. No, so I that's wouldn't say, it. I wouldn't say we're strongly oh, offended. Not offended, but, but um, surprised by their lack of manners. It just wasn't a connection yeah, yeah, yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Um, mm. But still, absolutely wish him well. No, we did. No, we, we're not. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people yeah. love his fragrances, so yeah. you know that's great. Yeah. Um, hopefully, yeah, he does well for his charities and stuff. No, we, we don't. We don't love Chris from Fragmental. Chris so from Fragmental is great, and they important. have a very strong connection. And in all honesty, I mean, he actually is a bit entertaining and different. Oh, yeah. Flamboyant, you Definitely know. Definitely entertaining to have around. There's people so. like that in the world. Mm -hmm. If we were all the same, it wouldn't be fun. So he's good. <sighs> right. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, um, so... <laughs> better move on this. Yeah, bit, I think uh, we need Robert to Crawford like says, what are we getting hard people on here now want to pick up someone who's a small guy. Oh, uh, 
Well, we're not slagging off Aaron Turner to you. Well, I didn't. We didn't want to. Perhaps we gave you a bit too much information. No, there, no, but no, we, no, we, no, we no, don't no. wish it's... him any luck. Bad luck. And he's a flamboyant character. I'm sure he's, fun, he's just fun. a bit socially um, awkward, and it just didn't quite work out with us. There wasn't, there yeah, just yeah, wasn't yeah, that yeah. connection. Sometimes that happens. It's nothing detrimental yeah, we may, to him. Uh, but we're not slagging him off. I kind of like him in a way. He's, he's um, fun to watch. I love watching him on YouTube. Yeah, he's a laugh. Yeah. Uh, talking senses. More importantly, are ATH fags actually good? We have some samples. Um, we are going to. I think you've talked about them a bit. I talked about. I'm going to explore yeah, them yeah. a bit more because so Robert, who sent them to me, he he obviously really loves them, and I I want to find, I want to find that. I want to see where you know. Like there's some of them that maybe have a bit of potential, so I want to try them a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'd actually like because I really respect Ben. Talking sense, Ben. I don't know if you watch his channel yet. I've seen his channel, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I love his opinion because he's so honest mm. and he's really detailed and um, I really like his opinion. Yeah. So I'm going to review a couple of the ones that appeal to me more. Yeah, yeah. I like um, the, the very Neroli-ish, is it called? Slut. <laughs> you see, now I'm laughing, but it's called Slut, but it's yeah. a very good fresh fragrance. So, But I'd love Ben's opinion. So... Ben, that collab I was talking about was going to involve some of those fragrances. Yeah. I'm eating a pink lady, says Rich Mitch. What? That's a lovely image. Uh, is that a, I don't, <laughs> I'm sure that's a completely innocent thing. It's um, probably like it's a, a wafer with some yeah, sort of let's pink hope so. marshmallow. Well, let's hope so. Uh, the <laughs> if he, well, like... if it was anything more fun, I'm sure he wouldn't have time to talk about it. So... Um, yeah, I'm just, please explain what that means. As an apple, thank God for that, Jason's bucket list. Uh, that's the image in my mind destroyed. Um, <laughs> it's a type of apple, the pink lady. Do you understand now? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Oh, yeah, um, it's an apple. Yeah, that's it's good. It's a type of apple. Disappointing, but there you go. Um, <laughs> okay. So, 2.31 in the morning, it's been... Oh, you shit in hell. So I think we probably should end this. Probably, mm. yeah. Mind you, we've got 34 people, but um, yeah, we could go on for a long time, but we'll probably dig ourselves even deeper mm. into major holes, actually. Yeah. Um, oh, dear. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so let's call it a night now. Pink yeah. Yeah. Eating her. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, um, I think we should end on the song. Oh, right, okay, yeah. What song would you I like to I'd like to do on? La Bamba again because oh, it's the well, only one I don't know. I mean, I, I know, but I don't know. So we're going, by the way. <laughs> Rich is going, oh God, no. Give me a sign when I need to start singing, because I'm not going to do this. Well, I'm just going to, the chord progression is more or less the same uh, throughout. What so you just come, come in. whenever? It, yeah, I'll go round and round with the...
Thanks, guys. And we'll see you in the next video if you care to join us. That's a, I think that's enough. Take down. Enough. You would want to. Good night. <laughs> Good God.